Now in this video, I am going to demonstrate another example with function. So uh, in this video, we are again going to use the same function as before that is uh, Bob please add and also the functionality is also same that is uh, it is taking one integer and a floating point number as input and then adding them together and returning back the result but this time what i will do instead of passing any constant or hard coded number from this caller or the main function like this we want to pass some user defined input that is the program should take an integer and a floating point number as input from the user and then pass them to the function to the function so instead of hard coding 5 and 4.5 now we are interested to take the input from the user so let's try to do that let's see how can we do it so uh, the first thing if you want to take an integer and the floating point number from the user so let's first type a nice message to the user for the user uh, like please enter an integer and uh, floating point number so this is a message and then let's take the actual input which is c in um, say num1 and then num2 and well since i'm using num1 and num2 i have to declare those two variables that is int num1 i want to take now one as the integer and another floating point number which is now two so now we are all set with the input so here user is entering two numbers now if i want to pass these two numbers as an argument in the function is it possible yes of course it is possible that is num1 so i am simply what i am doing is just replacing this 5 with the variable num1 and replacing this 4.5 with the variable num2 so once i am doing this this num1 and num2 will be set by the user and those values will be pass will pass inside this function and the function will work accordingly on the basis of those values so let us see whether this works or not so uh, if i run this program uh, there is still an error because i have forgotten one semicolon over here so let's run this so it is asking me like please enter an integer and a floating point number like this message so now i am supposed to give uh, two numbers so let me use the same numbers like before 5 and 4.5 so here i'm entering 5 and then a space and then 4.5 so if it works properly then this program should also print the result as 9.5 that is 5 plus 4.5 in here so let us run this and let's see what happened and if i run this well as you can see in here the program printed 9.5 so yes it is working and now since this is uh, user input you really do not need to change anything in the code but you can add any number as you want just by running the program like this so instead of 5 and 4.5 let's try to add 100 and 234.568 something like this whatever so now if i hit enter you will see that it is added 
So 100 plus 234.568 equals 334.568 that have been printed. So as you have seen that not only the constant numbers or constant values, you can also pass the identifiers as an argument to the function. And now another thing that you must notice here that the name of the actual argument that you are passing while calling this function like this num1 and num2 that can be different from the parameter name of the function which are n1 and n2. It does not matter what name variable name you are using in the calling function and what variable name you are using in the caller function. All that matter is the sequence. That is, the function is expecting an integer as the first parameter. So your first argument must be of type integer. It can have any name, but it must be of type integer. Similarly, the second parameter of the function is a floating point number. That is, it is expecting a floating point number as, an, as the second input. So, the second input, when you will call, it must be a floating point number. The, that can be any name. It can be num2. It can be uh, number2. It can be your name. Whatever name it is, but it should be of floating point number. 